welcome back to the farm. It's May 3rd, 2020 here. Uh, and today I'd like to... Oh, it just started raining. Just keep going. Okay, <laughs> we're just going to keep going. So recently we had a very big thing happen on the farm, which is that a pig, a small pig, maybe about this big, has been troubling us for over a month at this point, to the point where we built a trap, we built a bow and arrow, we built all this stuff to try and contain it. We eventually caught it in our trap, and someone from Craigslist came, killed it, and took it away. And people, uh, I've been getting some comments that are like, Oh, sad pig, you killed a pig. Uh, why didn't you keep it as a pet? Blah, 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 blah. And so I wanted to show how much damage even a small pig can do to your garden in just a little period of time. Basically, it'll destroy everything that it can. Uh, so we're going to walk around and I'll point out some of the places uh, that have been messed up. The first thing I want to show you, however, is a sweet potato. This is what a sweet potato patch looks like. These are all sweet potato leaves. They're edible, propagate through vine. This is what a healthy sweet potato patch looks like. As you can see, all of this space is filled with leaves. It's like a carpet of leaves. And then you'll see what a pigged up sweet potato patch looks like. So just keep this in mind. This is a small bread nut tree that it dug up in one place. It was buried out, or it was uh, planted out, not in a pot. We had to move it to a pot. It's recovering. This area, this like small area right here, this got dug up multiple times. There's a little tomato that's coming back, but there was plenty of other stuff in here. Do you remember what else was in here? One of the other bread nuts. Okay. One of the other bread nuts. This area under the bridge. Whoa, big moth. See how this is all dug up? This was like basically full of water spinach, which is coming back a little bit. You can see that's water spinach. There was loads of sweet potato in here, and there were even some taro in here, which you can see them left on this side. Here's the taro leaf. But basically all the the spinach and sweet potatoes are gone. This is it's just the leafless. There's a small, like a twisty willow here. Right there, that's gone. It um, got, the willow was saved. It's in a pot and it's recovering now. This area, this is kind of nothing, but there was a bunch of orchids, wild orchids. This got all dug up. This over here, a small cacao tree. This was dug up and pushed over like multiple times and we put it back. Luckily it seems to be doing okay. This area got all dug up. Luckily there wasn't too much growing here. There's one lilikoi that's still okay. This area, this is called a puka, so it's like a big long hole. This got completely wrecked. This was full of sweet potatoes and there are now no sweet potatoes. Zero. There's, there's, a tiny, there's a small one right there. Small. One piece of sweet potato left. We're really lucky because it didn't dig up these pineapples. It doesn't seem to like the sisu spinach, which is right there. And it left there a couple coffee trees. Coffee tree? There are a couple coffee trees in here that it left alone. But this was all sweet potatoes. Totally dead. This area right here. It dug this all up multiple times. There was some ginger growing here. There were a few uh, green onions. There was sisu spinach, tiny sisu spinach left, some tiny citruses left. But the, the other thing is, even if there wasn't much that was growing in there, it's like you can't use that spot because anytime you put new mulch down, it'll get hit again because the pig would like really love any new mulch. Did anything happen in the puka up here? Let's go look one more time. This got dug up. This is a big pico. Do you know what got dug up here? Uh, it just rooted it down just there. It just rooted around. I noticed it pretty soon, so I yeah. chased it. But it dug up the, the um, Malabar chestnut back there. Ah. You put it, but he put it, you put it back yeah. together. This is one of the 
very first areas. So this used to look exactly like that sweet potato patch that you saw. It was completely covered in green. Now it's all garbage. It's been garbage for like a month because you can't plant anything while the pig is around. So that's sweet potato coming back. There's a little bit coming back here and there. I planted some daikon in here. Okay, good. There's also even a nice decorative, a pagoda plant. That's all dead. It killed this giant bean plant because it was rooting around back here. So this whole area got rooted up. There's a bunch of basil in there. Really sad. This was also, this oldest junk was full sweet potato patch. There's a little bit coming back, you can see. Oh, I, I planted those. Oh, you planted those, okay. They're not coming back. There was a whole bunch of- There was of, nothing coming back here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of water spinach back there. I think there's one right there that's coming back. And we had the sisu spinach interplanted around here. It dug those up, but they're so hardy that you could just kind of put them back and they'll be okay. This area was one of the last, this was all sweet potato patch. This was one of the last areas that it hit before uh, we, we finally caught it. So this is going to take time to come back as well, but it wasn't raided like multiple times like these. Let's go show these it back here. It got into some of the trees back yeah, there too. Yeah. Here. These beds, it basically fully dug up. And you can't plant anything here until the pig is gone. There were a bunch of pots here with peanuts in them, all dug up, knocked them over. This area where it's all dirt, this all got dug up. There was sweet potato in there, bean, all kinds of stuff. There was a small, I believe a like a rambutan or something right there. Killed that. There was a papaya there as well. There was a papaya there as well that it killed. It knocked over pots a few times as well. So let's go back in here. Here's another view of this area that got fully dug up. Some stuff is coming back. These guys are all little star fruits. It got into them a little bit, not too much. Both of these tires were basically completely emptied of soil. They had small citrus and a few other young things in there. I think that's the main thing that got hit in this area. I mean, it tried to get into this big cacao. It like dug around in there, but it gave up. This is its damage right there. And if you're wondering how it got over these things, some of them it could hop over so it could hop over this one, it but could hop over this. hesitantly. Hesitant. It would like hang like this and then like clamber, clamber over it. It was mostly, I think, these small gaps which have been patched now. So like this gap wouldn't seem like a pig could fit through there, but I've seen it run through spots like that. Yeah, and it goes under spots as well. This area was also sweet potato. This was recovering from rat damage too, so yeah. rats hit it and then the pig hit it. Yeah. Luckily, it was too small to not do tremendous things. This is the pig trap itself. We're gonna go into, we'll do maybe an explain and demo of it later, not today, but this is how we ultimately caught it. Um, it did some damage right here around the small rambutan or lychee. You got into that a bunch of times too. Oh yeah, it got into this cacao tree a bunch of times. Should the katuk? Oh yeah, the katuk. So this area, you know, this is not fully blocked in, so I understand. This is our sort of katuk area. This is a type of plant called katuk, K-A-T-U-K. It has edible leaves, tropical plant, it does great around here. But luckily it didn't really hit the katuk, but almost everything around it, you could see there's basically nothing around it. It got into this um, sapote as well. Sapote. And the... Uh, Kasturi mango over here. It got into the kasturi mango. We've put it back though. And it got all around here, but the katooks managed to, managed to make it. And so, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but all of our bananas are boxed in like this with half pallet fences. That's because of earlier p 
pig, severe pig damage that we had where we lost a bunch of bananas and uh, we ended up building fences around every banana. We have no unprotected bananas. And this pig wasn't really as, it didn't have tusks because it's still young. So it wasn't able to like pull anything up. So it wasn't really attacking the bananas as much. Yeah, that banana is recovering. It's a Thai banana from the pigs we had in January. That was completely gone. Yeah, there is nothing there. This garden we had a lot of. Ow. Oh, you want to show the side? Okay, yeah. This garden we had a lot of problems trying to keep the pig out of it. We couldn't even understand how it was getting in. So the damage here. Did it root here? Yes. Yeah, it rooted here a bunch. There was potatoes in there. It took them out too. It knocked over that banana, knocked over this banana a bunch of times. Yeah. This was all potatoes. Did you just plant those? Yeah. Yeah. This wasn't, this was completely dead, basically. It knocked over this banana, as you said. It got into this bed a bunch of times. Yeah, this Luckily, was all potatoes. Yeah. Luckily, some of this taro and that, what is that, avocado, yeah. still made it. And as far as, in, in terms of places where we get it in and out, how we patched this with these woods before it was just these metal things and it was going under them i wouldn't believe it unless i had seen it myself it dug around some of this stuff as well okay. so this garden it did a whole lot of damage in uh multiple times it would dig into these beans dug into this. This was a rambutan or lychee. It's dead now. Yeah, this one is a, um, a kava. This one's actually recovering, but the other one I don't think it's going to make it. There's a squash here and peanuts as well that are dead. It got into this. Where's the other kava? There it is. This oh, is it the... might make it. It's got new growth. That's good. Yeah. There was a whole bunch of other stuff right here that got pulled up. Yeah, and back here as well. Yep, this all got pulled up. This oh. is a green tea it, that knocked it over a few times. It got into this area. This is all bean. Got into there. This area did major, major damage. All of this, like, dug up stuff was all sweet potato. Um, so, yeah, major, major damage. Yeah. And we put cardboard down to help with the moisture retention because this area gets really baked with the sun. Yeah. What else? It got into this area under here. Yeah, and it knocked down this Malabar chestnut as well. This area got into multiple times. There was sweet potato here. It got into this area. All this that like it looks this is a rambutan or a lychee, it died. Here, it got in, and back here. All these areas. This area, it got into multiple times. Here we had a whole lot of lemongrass, like this. This is lemongrass. Also, this is a lychee or a rambutan. It appears like it's gonna be dying. Dead. This garden over here, it didn't really get into. It's like one of our main, it's one of our two gardens that it didn't get into. This area got attacked a whole lot. There were more taro here. There's a couple left, luckily. They've been disturbed though. There was a whole bunch of water spinach in here and there was a pepper plant in here. That's all gone. This garden, it didn't get into. But it did get into the one behind there. Yeah, that a little bit. A little bit later. And along on the outside of this fence, right here, there was there's a small tree that's planted there. It got into that and a few others. Very small. I believe it's a sprouting that it got into. It tried to dig up and it it dag it dag. 
it dug around in the base of this cashew. It dug a bit in this taro. Did it get into the little plants here? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah, there were a bunch of little trees along the outside here. It dug them up. It dug into this coffee. We had to cover it up. Oh boy, it did a lot of damage to the beans growing around here to the point where they got they got fortified. <laughs> so this is an anti-pig anti-pig device. There's a jackfruit back there it got into as well. Yeah. These are native Hawaiian tree ferns that are called hapu. And this one got disrupted so many times that it started dying. Look at what's happened. Half of its front has started dying. This half started as well. I'm trying. We're trying. We're trying to bring it back. This one didn't get disturbed though, so you can see. No, it dug. I think it dug around in it a couple times, but it didn't get as disturbed as the other one. This was all. This was mulch, and it rooted around in this mulch a bunch. It also got into this small bed, which had some sweet potato in it. Also, it had these cuttings, these giant cuttings of a tree called Moringa, which is like a, has leaves that you can eat. It dug that up like multiple times. So it kind of had to give up on this bed for a while. It dug up some uh, cabbage, a bele, which is recovering somewhere else. Just a total mess. Did it get into here? I don't think so. I don't think so either. This is more of the guardian guardrail for the beans over here. And this is a, the jackfruit that it got into. This jackfruit has suffered heavily. <laughs> it knocked over this small hapu a couple times. It looks okay though. Yeah. It eroded around the edges of this of this fence but it didn't make it into it. It, got, it knocked over and got into this hapu'u a few times as well. It's also suffering damage, but we're trying to contain that. Again, this is the, this is the second garden that it didn't get into. I don't think any pigs have gotten into this garden since we put the fence up. Yeah. So this area might had a number of small trees in it, had a lot of sweet potato in it. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is the site of our first uh, food scrap compost pile. So there's actually, there have been a lot of things that have grown in here. A few of the trees were, we, the little trees were able to save and I'll show them to you right now. But like this, I don't know what this avocado. avocado, just totally gone. A few things are still alive in here. This mango and some of it, like there's, there's some sweet. Did you put that sweet potato in? No. no. That one's coming back. I did plant those squash though. Squash. Yeah. This this is still alive. But there were a bunch of little trees about this size in there. So I can show you some of the stuff we tried to save. So this was a tree in right where I just showed you. This was a tree where I just showed you. This was a tree where I just showed you. This was a tree in there. This was a tree in there. And this was a tree in there. And the willow is over there. Too. Yeah, I'll show that too. And there's the bread nut right there. This was a another. This was a bread nut that got completely messed up that we tried to save. I'll show you the willow. Here's the little willow tree. get in here it jumped over this half pallet or this like there used to be a half fence well here. it's still there well okay yeah There's it just... was just that not this yeah and then i just leaned that in front of it and it stopped getting into this garden yeah but and there it... are some stuff foods back there that it was trying to get into right there what else in here uh it just like dug up the potatoes and stuff there were potatoes in here 
anything. Or it, it did come through this area. Yeah, it didn't do too much damage because it was only here once briefly. I think once or twice. It got into the avocado a little bit. It got into this plant, got into here a little bit. So basically a lot of damage all over, many nights waiting, sleeping at, you know, just like barely asleep waiting to hear from like, <laughs> which is like the pig eating sound or the rustling sound. I think that's mainly it. Wanted to show you how bad what a pig can do, even a small pig, like I said, this pig didn't have um, tusks, which would have made it much more dangerous. But a pig this big, that will keep coming back, even if you shoot arrows at it, even if you yell at it and chase at it. Come here, Tux. We'll end with Tux. It's not an animal like a cat that you can reason with, you know? It's not going to listen to anything that you do. It's going to try to get into places and it just won't care at all. It's very wily, smart, clever, it can be very quiet and sneaky. In other words, never underestimate a pig, even one wild pig, because it'll ruin your stuff forever. Thank you.